Let's take a closer look at the rollout of the BMW M Hybrid V8 and its LMDH twin brother Cadillac. Why twin brother? Because both cars are developed by Dallara in Italy and both cars share the same Dallara LMP2 chassis. If we take a closer look at the chassis, we can see that both cars have actually the same design features like Dallara's old LMP2 car. And this cooperation shows you the new generation of race cars. Previously, a manufacturer would develop and manufacture a race car from scratch, produce it and run it by himself. In LMDH, that is different. BMW went to the experienced race car manufacturer Dallara, which has one of the four LMDH approved chassis and lets them develop the race car. BMW provides the engine and the exterior design for the car. Dallara then turns this into a working race car. Once the car is there, it will be run by private teams on the track instead of BMW themselves. And these are the main reasons why LMDH is so cheap for manufacturers. If that is the spirit of motorsport in its traditional sense, it's another question. And other manufacturers like Toyota, Ferrari and Peugeot decided to go for LMH, where they designed their own race car in the traditional sense. But since there will be BOP, which takes all the advantages of different cars away to equalize lap time, LMDH is a very cheap way for manufacturers to race in IMSA and WEC. And they can still be competitive. The fact that Dallara is now developing two competitors for LMDH leaves them with huge challenges within their company. They created two completely independent development groups for Cadillac on one side and BMW on the other side. They are not allowed to talk to each other, have passwords for their offices and no one knows what's in the wind tunnel at the moment and only project members can see what's going on in there. So it will be interesting to see if we still might find the same features on both cars. Now let's take a closer look at the latest BMW rollout pictures. First of all, we can see the far forward sitting side pods, the integrated fuel tank and the pocket for the oil reservoir in the middle. Similar to the Dallara LMP2 car and Cadillac, the BMW features a huge roof scoop. Here we can now see that the actual engine inlet isn't that big and only uses the center of the scoop. The sides are used for a piggybacked additional radiator which allows to keep the side pod smaller. A cooling concept that Delara knows well from their Formula 1 projects. We can see the outlets for it on the engine cover. If we look at both fronts, we can see that both have actually quite low front surfaces. The BMW just seems taller because of its vertical lights. But the aero surfaces are pretty low. Also, the splitter looks very similar between both cars. On top we can see additional cooling outlets and cockpit outlets for driver cooling. The exhausts are raised and have a rectangular shape with a gap to the bodywork. The rear end is wide open and features a gurney flap on top. We can also see two blisters that cover the rear suspension. Great is that we also have pictures of the assembly. We can here see the gearbox with placeholders for the coilovers of the pushrod suspension. It has rockers with rods to the anti rollbar at the back. We can also see a pushrod suspension in front with an arrow shaped lower arm. At the back there is the intake pipe coming from the air filter and connects to the outboard sitting turbocharger. The exhaust primaries are directly below. We can see that the layout was originally designed for a naturally aspirated engine and now the intake pipes wrap around the cylinder heads. One option here would be to update two side inlets later to reduce frontal area. Also nice to see here is how BMW and the Lara staff work together on the assembly of the car. So BMW gave us great insights into their LMDH program here and also announced that they will compete in Le Mans 2024. If we like the way LMDH cars are designed is up for discussion, but if it provides nice race cars and good racing, most people should be happy. What do you think about outsourced race car development and how do you like BMW's LMDH program? Let me know in the comments below.